Greetings, YouTube. Happy Saturday. It is such a good thing that you can't see me right now because I am drenched in sweat from head to toe. I am in between tennis matches, but I ran home because I make wise life choices or the opposite of that. Hey, I knew it was the first of the month. It was June 1st, and so we would be having some daily or monthly cards, depending on what you call them, to grade. And I like to help you Make the most informed decisions you can with your hard-earned money or iTunes credit or Google Play credit, whatever you look at, I want to help you. So we have the usual amount of daily cards. I believe it's four of them to review. We're going to start from the bottom and then go to the top. So the $10 daily card gives you 4,500 three-star shards by the end of the month, 750 four-star shards, five premium disappointment crystals, and almost enough shards to give you a fully formed three star, your 500 short, and then 250 four star shards right now. Now keep in mind, the C grade price right now for a four star is $10, but we have seen far better deals for that price in the past. In fact, one of my favorite deals is the ultimate crystal weekly card that sometimes appears for $10. You get seven, I believe it is, opportunities to get a 20% shot at a four star. And I've seen people five out of seven of those crystals at times have been four stars. Sometimes it's one out of seven, you know, but either way for 10 bucks, you get that many, sometimes more opportunities for a four star. And then if you miss it, you're, you're guaranteed a three star from that crystal. Compare that to this offer, which is just pathetic. Okay. For 10 bucks, you should have more than a guaranteed four-star crystal for your money, but of course you don't. This kind of looks like a premium hero daily card that you'd see like two or three years ago. So sorry, in-game, but we are not about time travel in this offer review. I think this would be a very solid offer if it was half the price. If it was five bucks, you would definitely over the course of a month be able to get solid value. But unfortunately, you don't. You don't even have any six stones with this. So I'm going to give this offer a D minus. The only way that, that anyone should buy this, if this is like your first week playing and you only have 10 bucks and you want to at least get some three star champs because three stars hit a lot harder than two stars and certainly one stars. But if you have any progression in the game, this is a terrible offer. But thankfully, it is not the only offer to review. So let's move left, shall we? Now let's go to the four star daily uh, hero daily card for 30 bucks. Okay. $30 at this point in the game should guarantee you three four stars plus five star shards for that asking price. Over the course of the month, you do get 6,000 four star shards along with 500 five star shards right now, 30 four star six stone crystals, and that's it. This is a much better deal than the right one, but that's like saying my house looks better than the house on my left and the house that is on my left just burned to the ground in a huge dumpster fire blaze. So I think that this is a C minus to C deal. It is the average price of what you should expect four stars to be 10 bucks a piece with some four star six stones thrown in, but they're the one out of six crystals. They're the RNG dependent. You don't get to choose who you use. This, these are not generics. If they were generics, this would be a higher rated deal. This would be at least a C plus if they were 30 generics, but they are not. And so they are not getting anything besides a low C from this, probably about a 72, 73% if I was to grade it on a percent as I am, believe it or not, a college professor. Crazy, I know. Okay, here we go. Five star daily card. Now these usually cost $49.99, but this is $69.99. This is 70 bucks. This is a very expensive five-star daily card. Now, as a reminder, a C to C plus average grade at this point in the game would be 10,000 five-star shards for 50 bucks. That is what we have seen routinely. So for 70 bucks, you're expecting about 14 to 15,000 five-star shards plus extra items. And you can see that you get 9,750 total. It's weird that you can't get a fully formed five-star basic from the total after 30 days, that seems like a bad idea. They should have done more than the basic, to be honest. You do get five star six stones. It's the one out of six class-based one per day as well. And then you, you get 3,250. That's a random amount of five star shards. If I wanted this to be a solid deal, here's what I would have done. I would have upped 
the top just a little bit to guarantee you at least 10,000 total. And then I would have given you 5,000 five-star hero crystal shards right now. That means you could wait for a month and have enough five-star shards, even if you get nothing else, to have a fully formed chance that the five-star featured crystal, which costs 15,000 five-star shards, or you could at least have one generic five-star six stone per day. So you could use it on any champ that you want to add one sig signature level per day. Now, when you scroll to the bottom, there are 750 six-star shards right now. And most importantly, and I really do think this is the main attraction to this deal, you do have those 36 stones right now that are generics. And those by themselves used to cost about $30 to $40. So if you subtract the fact that those are worth, I still think they're worth at least a dollar a piece. I've got to be objective on that. If you subtract those from the deal, really everything else will cost you $39.99, and that becomes a much better deal. So in terms of shards, it's a C to C plus, but when you add on the six stones, it becomes at least a B to B plus because you've got to understand those generic signature stones are still incredible value. Uh, I also wish that it was a thousand six star hero crystal shards. I know it's only a 250 shard difference, but it would be nice to have at least 10% more of a six star fully formed because most six stars, as we know from the pool, are straight trash. So, you know, objectively, I think this is like an 86 to an 87%. We are getting up in value. So speaking of going up in value, we're also going up in price. And that leads us to the final whale offer, the six star daily card for the same price as the All Fathers Odin of $99.99, not including countries like Canada or India, where you're going to have to pay more and not including tax. So you do get 15% of a six star over the course of 30 days. And on top of that, you get an additional 10% right now. So you get 25% of a six star basic crystal right now. That's going to be tempting for a lot of people, given that the six star featured crystal is so solid. You know, people talked about how bad it was, and I did not understand that. I thought that was a poor uh, representation of what it is because you can get Domino out of the new six star, and you've got some awesome champs to collect. I have people who are excited to get Doctor Strange, but I've also seen like Pep 1000 just pulled a six star Captain Marvel. I know she's not awakened when you just pull her, but that's still an amazing pull. So there are a lot of solid pulls, and really, uh, I'm tempted to hoard so unhealthily my six star shards and go for the featured at least once to see if I can dupe my domino or pull one of those top tier champions out of it as well. On top of this, you do have 4,500 five star hero crystal shards right now. So this is the opportunity over the course of 30 days to form enough shards for a five star featured crystal, which I did hope was on the one on the right. And, uh, and then you have the six star shards as well. And then three greater champion boost. This would be close to an A if, believe it or not, they would have just taken their model from the right deal and added it to the left. I still think for so many players, they could use generic five-star six stones. And why is it better to get six stones, especially the generics, on the cheaper deal than it is to the one on the left? I realize that they're trying to put a six-star premium price on six-star shards, but most six stars are trash. And so there is actually more guaranteed value in the $70 deal than the $100 deal, which is a little surprising and, dare I say, once again, bad marketing. I think the right deal is actually priced fairly well. I might be able to argue that an even better deal would have been 10 bucks cheaper, but that's a little nitpicky. The one on the left, it's almost there, but really, over the course of a month, since you have to wait 30 days to form these, you should add some six stones. Just imagine if they added, to take off the greater champion boost. You get those from enough bundles. And imagine if they added 50 generic five-star signature stones to that. That would be incredible. That would mean that you get everything else really for 50 bucks. So I'm going to give this a slightly lower grade than the right deal. I actually think that this is just a B on the left and the right is like a B plus. So there are no A deals, but keep in mind, we're a month away from July 4th and I guess the July cards, daily cards or monthly cards technically. So this is going to give you the opportunity to kind of ask yourself, what do I need from the progression of the game. July 4th, you're going to have the opportunity to get the year, the units guaranteed because, of course, these prices take the place of what you would normally spend on units. But on top of that, and I think more importantly, these offers aren't going to give you the same value on July 4th in terms of the six-star shards, the tier two alpha catalyst fragments, and as I said, most importantly, the tier five basic catalyst fragments. So all in all, I uh, I think that uh, you know the $70 one is the best value, but nothing is 
you know, run to your credit card and charge it. I also get told sometimes that people think that I automatically spam these videos to 10 minutes. I just happen to go until I stop talking. So I'm going to end this video right under 10 minutes just to prove you're wrong. Have a good day, YouTube. Thanks for watching.